How do you connect to a Victron device when you don't know the pin? Hi folks, I'm Roger from Wolfgrid and I uh, hope you had a Merry Christmas 2024. It's that time of the year when a lot of people receive uh, new phones or they either buy new phones or they receive them as gifts or something like that. And uh, it's this time of the year when we have the most uh, support calls regarding not being able to connect to a device with a new phone. So typically what happens, uh, we or you install the new device and say, let's say it's a smart shunt, for example, you've been connecting it with your old phone for years or whatever, and uh, never a problem. Now you have a new phone and uh, you were convinced that you knew the pin and that it hadn't changed, but when you try and connect it with the new phone, the pin is not accepted. So the first thing that I would say, don't mind you contacting us for support, but if you're putting in the pin that you thought you had and it's not accepting the pin, you don't have the right pin. It's actually as simple as that. You just don't have the right pin and you need to get the right pin or you need to reset the pin. So it, for the most part, uh, the various devices are easy enough to get to to find the essential information that you need to reset the pin. I'm going to take you through a few examples of where you look for that. So coming back to the smart shunt that we're using as our example, if you see here's the smart shunt with the, uh, the two terminals, this one goes to the battery, this one goes to the system. This little tag right on the top here, which you can, you can hardly see it, there lies the essential information. I'll take you through a pic of what that actually looks like, but there lies the essential information that you need. Let's look at another device. Uh, look at the Orion XS, the Victron Orion XS DC-DC charger. I happen to know that behind here is where the actual tag is. In fact, I've got one that I've taken off and you can see here is where the information would be that you would need to connect to. So if, if you absolutely need to connect to this one and you don't know the pin, uh, you have pretty much no choice but to undo the four screws, take a photo of the label that's on the back and put it back on and then you can connect to it. These MPPT controllers, you can't see very clearly, but right on the side here is where this label is. It's right on the side here, very difficult to get to. You can, with a camera, uh, try and get to it, but yeah, good luck. You may need to get some decent lighting and uh, try to, the a camera at a few angles or like the Orion XS, you may, to, may need to undo this, take it off and you'll get to it. So every device is slightly different. Uh, the Serbo GX will have a label somewhere on it. Uh, I don't know if it's there or here. I see there is a label here or it's on the bottom. I can't remember exactly where, but every device is different as to where you would find that label. I've taken a photo of this, but I'm gonna take you through two photos that we took of it. Sometimes it's actually really difficult to take a decent photo to get to the information that you need. But the information that you need to reset the pin is called the PUC code. So here you see P-U-K. It's this long number, this PUC code here that you need. I'm gonna take you through two photos now that I've taken of the smart shunt uh, label. So it's the P-U-K code, the PUC code that will be used to reset the pin code that is used for the Bluetooth connection. So in this particular case, uh, I wrote down, as you can see on the screen, uh, it looks to me like it is uh, 380957040C16F. So that's what I first wrote down, thinking that's the right one. And uh, turns out it wasn't that, so I tried to few more. In fact, what I did was that I took another picture. So as you can see in this picture here, uh, if I zoom in, it is a far clearer picture. So you may need to retake and you may need to take several pictures before you get the right one. In this particular case, I got to the fact that the code is 3B035704C16F. So and I tried that and that's the one that works. So I'm going to take you through the process. I've got it written down here so that I don't make another mistake. This is on our demo system. So I'm about to show you how you actually change this code. So let's say 
you're in your Vectron Connect app. And uh, I'm needing to connect to uh, the off-grid shunt demo. So it's this one here. And I know that if I connect to it right now, it would work. But what I want to do is I want to, to just simulate the fact that I'm changing the PAC code. So on the right-hand side here, if I just show you clearly on the screen, on the right-hand side here, you get the three ellipses. So you'll click on those and you'll click Reset Pin Code. Then you will type in this number, so now that I know that it's what it's meant to be. So it's a 3B and then 03570. 03570. And then there's a 4 and a C16F. So I'm pretty sure if I show you that, yep, that looks about correct from what I've written down. And you click on OK, and you'll see it says busy for a while. And as soon as it pops up this little window, you know you were successful. It has changed to six zeros. So now, if I click on this uh, shunt, the uh, off-grid shunt demo, and uh, here's, a, here's the other thing though, if you've previously connected to it, it may now have the incorrect pin code. And what you'll need to do, you'll need to go to your settings. So you'll need to find this particular item in the Bluetooth, in your Bluetooth list. As you can see, I've got many, many, many things from lots of people that I've connected to. And believe me, I clear this out about once a month. So, and uh, grid shunt demo, I think it's this one here. I'm going to forget this device, forget. And now when I come back to here, off-grid shunt demo, it may keep it or it might not. Okay, it hasn't kept, the, the pairing details are kept in your phone setup, not in, not in the app itself. So here I'm just putting one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. I pay, and there I've managed to connect to it. So typically what you do uh, after a, sh a few seconds, as you'll see, it'll pop up and give you a warning that um, the uh, the pin is insecure. In my case, because I think previously I've told it not to bother and don't disturb me about that again, it won't actually pop that up. But normally it would do it for you. But in, it's quite easy to change that. So again, to change the pin, could just hit your cog in the top right and you hit your ellipses and to go to product info and you'd be able to change your pin code you just hit change in that particular case you type in six zeros and type in the new pin and repeat that and then you've got a safe pin on there so that's that's how you gain access to the device that uh, you otherwise wouldn't have been able to so just remember uh, the, the first thing I would do actually is remove all reference to that. So go to your general settings, Bluetooth, find that particular device and forget it. Uh, and I think Android and, and iPhone work differently in that aspect. Um, so remove it completely from your device list in Bluetooth and then go to Victron Connect and you hit those three ellipses on the right hand side, uh, reset pin code and you will need the PUC, the P-U-K code, the PUC code. Type it in exactly as it is beforehand. Take several photos of it so that you have uh, you know, a, a lot of reference that you can go back to. And it's the tricky things like sometimes a three looks like a nine or a nine looks like a three or an eight looks like a B or a B looks like an eight. And uh, even uh, six versus zero look very similar. So uh, depending on the angle that you took the photo, the size of the font, and on the, on the smart shunt, I deliberately chose that because the font is so tiny, tiny. Um, you, you may need to take several photos before you get one that you can actually read properly. And you may need to have a few attempts when you're trying an eight in, or a zero, uh, rather a B, an eight versus a B, that sort of thing. Um, but either way, uh, if you get the right pack code and you type it in there, you will get to the point where it will reset the pin code to six zeros 
and then you can you can gain access to the device really easily. So hopefully that's of use to you. Uh, and if you've got a nice brand new phone for Christmas, uh, congrats, enjoy it. But uh, remember when you uh, connect to everything, if you if it won't connect, then you've got the pin code wrong. You will need to either get the right pin code or reset it to zeros, as we've just explained. So have a nice time and see you in the next episode. Cheers.